Welcome to Sheboygan County Government, working for you. My name is Adam Payne, Sheboygan County Administrator and co-host of this program with Chairman Mike Vandersteen. And today, as you know, we're pleased to bring yet another department or department head to be a guest and talk about roles and responsibilities. Every month we, we focus on a different department and many of them you're probably pretty familiar with, the Sheriff's Department, Health and Human Services, but some of you may not be aware that actually that beautiful Sheboygan County Memorial Airport in this community is Sheboygan County. It's part of our county family and today Chuck Mayor, our airport director is with us to talk about it. How are you doing Chuck? Fine. Thanks Adam. It's great, Thanks, to have, Mike. great to have you with us. I know you brought a, a photo along that you'll touch on a little later but mm -hmm. please begin by sharing with our viewers a little background on yourself and, and when you first started with the county. Thank you. Uh, well, I was born and raised in, in Sheboygan. I uh, still live in this area, and um, my background in aviation uh, started, my gosh, way back in 1964. Um, at the age of 16, I, I began sport parachuting, believe it or not. <laughs> and that just kind of evolved into flying, and, and um, you know, uh, here we are. And I never dreamed back then at 16 that I'd be managing, you know, the Sheboygan County Memorial Airport, but it's, it's really been a wonderful experience. Um, I've been with Sheboygan County government for 41 years now. Uh, the past 24 have been uh, managing the, uh, the Sheboygan County Airport, and, and that's really been quite a treat. Yeah, and it's remarkable, 41 years. I, I'm hoping that you're going to double that. Although, <laughs> I know I won't keep my fingers crossed, but uh, we really enjoy working mm -hmm. with Chuck and the mm -hmm. excellent job you've done managing this airport. And how long has Sheboygan County owned and operated an airport? Sheboygan County Memorial Airport was built, um, construction on the airport started in 1958, uh, the airport was completed in 1960, officially dedicated in 1962, um, and uh, from 1960 through 1987, uh, it operated uh, under the uh, uh, part-time management of uh, Chaplin Aviation, which was also the airport's fixed base operator. So many of our viewers might be thinking, well, I haven't been out to the airport. If they envision an airport, they envision probably a very busy place. Mm -hmm. Just how large is our airport and what's the primary role and responsibilities of you and your staff? Okay. <clears throat> the airport uh, today has, has grown to uh, about 1,040 acres in size. That's land acres and uh, navigation air rights and, and whatnot. Um, the, uh, County Airport Department was created in uh, 1987 uh, when uh, Chaplin Aviation, uh, Harry Chaplin had retired as manager. So management of that facility went, went back to Sheboygan County government basically. And um, the County Airport Department is charged with the responsibility of overseeing that uh, 1,000 acre uh, holding that uh, Sheboygan County owns. Uh, we have to make sure that that facility is operational 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and um, the, basically, uh, you know, just uh, keeping it safe, you know, for aircraft and, and passengers and itinerant folks coming in and out of that uh, public transportation facility. And how, how busy of an airport is this? If, if uh, someone has never been out there before and doesn't get a chance in the future, how many mm -hmm. flights come and go every year? About how busy is it in comparison to other airports in the state? Okay, um, basically we've got 98 public airports in the state of Wisconsin. And it's interesting the way the airports are categorized. There are eight large air carrier facilities. Uh, as an example, Milwaukee, uh, Mitchell International, you know, uh, Green Bay, uh, Appleton, Austin, Straubel. And then there are 14 corporate transport category airports. And Sheboygan County is one of those 14. And then all the rest are basically the small general aviation facilities. Um, Sheboygan County ranks seven out of those 14 as far as its importance of uh, uh, economic benefit, you know, the population area it serves, uh, the number of aircraft that are based at the facility, uh, flight operations per year, which because of, you know, the economic downturn and whatnot, we, we've noticed that on our numbers, probably somewhere in the, uh, you know, 40 to 50,000 ops per year right now compared to considerably more, you know, back in 19, 
uh, or excuse me, in 2007, 2008, you know, before the economy took a down, downturn. So, so 40 to 50,000 takeoffs and landings? Landings, touch and goes. And what helps is, um, you know, we have so many small general aviation aircraft out there. And those are the, the folks really that, that push our numbers up because they're constantly out there, you know, flying and perfecting, you know, staying current, you know, doing touch and goes and, and whatnot. So that, along with a mix of the corporate and, and uh, uh, transport uh, charter aircraft that come in and out, the business jets and whatnot, that's, that's how we arrive at that number. And over a thousand acres, 40 to 50,000 flights coming and going, a lot of activity out there. I imagine you have a tremendously large department <laughs> to oversee all this. Touch on your staff size and who is associated for taking care of this right. airport. Be happy to. Uh, the county airport department is definitely one of the smallest departments in of the 24 or so departments that make up Sheboygan County government. Um, my TO basically lists three people, a uh, full-time airport manager and two full-time airport maintenance technicians. Uh, when things really get tough out there, especially in the winter, snow removal or whatnot, uh, then we'll bring on a, a limited term employee to help out with plowing. Um, just case in point, this winter, again, with all the snowfall, it, it was, you know, miserable. Um, from the first snowfall, I think it was December 2nd through, I think, early April, um, our three plow trucks logged 5,400 miles of plowing on the airport. Wow. So, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's quite a challenge. You know? so, so three individuals and then an LTE, a fourth person in the winter. Mm -hmm. I know you are not afraid to jump in that snow plow when necessary, and often that's necessary. Right. Uh, in addition to your staff, you have a fixed base operator on the, uh, mm -hmm. at the airport. Right. What's their role then and, and what's your working relationship? The, the fixed base operator, basically that's private sector business that provides uh, aeronautical support services for the uh, aircraft, you know, the transients and whatnot that, uh, that come through Sheboygan County Airport. Uh, Burroughs Aviation is, is the present fixed base operator. They uh, provide uh, fueling services uh, and they coordinate, um, you know, with the aircraft that come in as far as any ground transportation, accommodations, uh, you know, kind of a full service. Um, and they have a nice restaurant right there at the airport too. That's right. That's also owned and operated by uh, uh, Burroughs Aviation. Uh, which is really nice. That uh, facility came on board, I think, in about 2007. Uh, before that, you know, we never really had, uh, you know, a restaurant uh, banquet hall facilities like we do now at the airport. So if any of our viewers <coughs> haven't been out to the airport, uh, though I know it's, we've been getting a lot of rain and it hasn't been the most pleasant spring summer thus far, uh, get out and enjoy the beauty of this county and, and swing by the airport mm -hmm. and take a look because it, it's so impressive the improvements that have been made yeah. and if you have time stop in for a cup of coffee or a, a lunch or maybe a mixed drink in the evening so uh, a lot to see out there last question before i turn it over to mike all these flight operations coming and going um, the work that you have to do to maintain this airport the coordination with the fixed base operator mm -hmm. tremendous amount of activity uh, there's also a lot of tenants at the airport how many tenants do we have, and could you give some examples of yeah. what types of tenants right. are out there? It, it's uh, kind of a small city within itself, uh, and again, the tenants, uh, besides our fixed space operator, we do have other uh, commercial tenants based there. Um, uh, Airworthy Aviation, they are the, the mechanics on the field, they fix the airplanes or do annuals on the airplanes. Um, uh, Frontline Aviation uh, also is based at Sheboygan. Their, their home office is in Green Bay. They've got a satellite here at, at Sheboygan. Uh, they provide flight instruction. Uh, they just merged with Lakeland College. for. Uh, uh, they're going to be providing a four-year uh, degree program in, in uh, aeronautics through Lakeland. And that starts this fall. So we're hoping that the student uh, you know, numbers will definitely increase and that helps the number of air, aircraft operations on the field. Uh, we also have SBM Corp. They provide the uh, large uh, tea hanger and they rent out uh, tea hanger stalls for people to house their, their airplanes in. Uh, other tenants out there, uh, Hertz uh, rental cars, 
uh, we have the Final Approach Restaurant, uh, Aviation Heritage Center, which is just uh, just an incredible facility, uh, showing you know the Wisconsin, uh, the uh, Wisconsin and and Sheboygan County aviation history. Uh, they have a you know banquet facilities and whatnot in that building, and it's, it's just a you know really really neat uh, place to be. Um, then we have our, our private sector businesses. Uh, uh, there are about 12 uh, corporate flight departments based at uh, the Sheboygan Airport. Uh, some of them would be like Kohler Company, um, Richardson Industries, uh, Windway Capital Corp, uh, Plastics uh, Engineering, Bemis Company, uh, Bray & Associates. Uh, we've got other businesses that actually are based at Sheboygan that have home offices in Manitowoc and uh, we go as far down as uh, West Bend that are, are based at Sheboygan. A lot of economic mm -hmm. development, a lot yes. of dollars going in and out of that mm -hmm. airport. Definitely, and you know, with all of the hangars that you know, the general public sees at, at the airport, uh, it's important to note that those hangars are built by private sector, not by county government. They're owned by the private sector. You know, the private sector pays taxes, uh, pays rent, you know, to Sheboygan County, you know, to, to have those buildings there. Um, I think it's, uh, I have to look at my notes as far as the worth of, of those uh, hangars. Uh, I think it's about $5.6 million and counting yet as far as uh, the hangars built out there. Uh, aircraft that are based at Sheboygan, the last count was about 115, and, uh, you know, those, those aircraft are worth in the millions and millions of dollars. Outstanding. Yeah. Very nice. Mike? Chuck, in addition to the upkeep and maintenance uh, tasks that you have out at the airport, mm -hmm. you're also involved in capital projects. Could you tell us a little bit about the capital project planning process that you go through? Yeah, that is, has been a real, real uh, uh, important part of the, the, the 24 years I've been at the airport. Um, we, we started with the airport master plan update and that took about five years. Uh, we completed that around 1996 um, from, from the master plan update. Then we went into environmental and economic assessments on you know, what airport expansions, you know, how they were gonna impact the immediate area and economically if it was justified you know, in, in spending that kind of money you know, to do these expansions and whatnot. And uh, everything really passed with, with flying colors. Once we completed that master plan study from there, we basically laid out the projects. And um, as you know, and, and the county uh, the finance department knows, uh, the airport has had uh, capital improvement projects in, in the county five-year capital plan, again, for the past 24 years. Every year there is something, some major type of uh, capital improvement occurring at, at the county airport. Even though you have that master plan, um, where do you get uh, or who gives you guidance on these other projects that, that come up and things that maybe weren't in the master plan as you go mm -hmm. uh, forward with the daily business? We've got a, a pretty good check and balance uh, system in, in place. It's not just me as the airport man manager wanting to you know do these things at the airport. I answer to the uh, the Sheboygan County uh, uh, Transportation Committee, and that, that's a five-member committee made up of the county board supervisors. We also have a nine-member airport advisory committee, which is made up of a cross-section of not only airport tenants, but uh, community leaders uh, in, in the area. And then I also answer to our county administrator, uh, keeping him in the loop as far as, uh, you know, these uh, the projects that are up and coming. Sounds great. And what are some of the most recent improvements that you've made out at the airport uh, okay. through these capital projects? Well, just some of the, touching on some of the larger projects that have occurred um, just, you know, in, in the last number of years, the, the relocation of County Trunk O, uh, the relocation of Meadowlark Road in two different locations. Oh, this is Highland, excuse me. And then Meadowlark is over on the other side of the airport that uh, also we had, had to do some relocation to make room for runway extensions. Uh, the primary runway, which is this lighter colored runway, um, started out uh, back in 1960 at uh, 3,600 feet long. Uh, it is now 6,800 feet. Uh, it was upgraded um, you know, to a, a bearing capacity of uh, 98,000 pounds. Uh, 
the secondary runway, which was just finished, rebuilt last year, reconstructed, uh, is now, again, from started out at uh, 3,600 feet long. Now we've extended it out to 5,000 feet with a bearing capability of 72,000 pounds. Um, so that, uh, that was the second project. Uh, um, infrastructure, uh, creating more additional areas for private sector to build uh, corporate hangars, uh, restaurant, FBO facility, things like that. We are really poised very comfortably for the future. Once the economy starts coming back, and it may take a few years, typically then we'll see business industry wanting to uh, you know, build hangars at the airport. We've got the room. We've got the future building sites available now, not, not only in the uh, south central quadrant, but also in the north central quadrant. Um, that's, that's good to know. Yeah. And um, what projects are you working on currently this year? What's, uh, what's going on out there right now? Okay, in, in less than a month, we will be uh, breaking ground on the reconstruction of, of this uh, taxiway that parallels our main runway. Um, you know, to have a main runway uh, capable of 98,000 pound aircraft and then to put those aircraft on a taxiway that is only capable of uh, 30,000 pound capacity, you know, we, we've got some problems. And, you know, when this airport was built back in 1960, I don't think anyone ever thought that, you know, we would be uh, accommodating aircraft that have uh, range capability of, of what's based at Sheboygan right now. The, uh, the Gulf Streams, the, uh, the Global Express that's at Sheboygan. Um, we'll go from Sheboygan nonstop to Moscow. Uh, it's, it's just global, you know, uh, with, with the, uh, the type of aircraft that are there. They're large, they're heavy. Uh, they need to, uh, you know, take on a lot of fuel, and hopefully that fuel is coming, is being purchased here, you know, at, at the Sheboygan County Airport for those long, transcontinental, uh, transoceanic uh, flights. So um, that's, that's what we're going to be working on this summer. Okay. And then as we look to the future, uh, what, uh, what other things are in that, uh, that long-range plan mm -hmm. that we're, we're looking to do uh, in the years uh, coming up? Okay. Um, next year we're planning on the rebuild of the main public <clears throat> apron. And that's this little area shown here in, in, uh, in black. The area to the north, this whiter colored uh, uh, apron is concrete. Uh, this section of apron is, again, 50 years old. Structurally, the bearing capacity, it, it's uh, pretty much failed. And uh, so we need to rebuild that in concrete. That's, that's a project on the, on the books then for either 2012 or 2013. And beyond that, uh, 2014, then we'll be going back, focusing on rebuilding the uh, uh, taxiways that parallel the secondary runway. Okay, and, and when we look at these projects, um, how do you uh, set up the funding for these and, and where does the money come from? Okay, uh, that is, is really the, um, I guess, the, the, the wonderful thing about the improvements that we've been able to make at, at the airport. Uh, because of the, the master planning that's in place, uh, the economic studies, environmental assessments, we have all of our ducks in a row. When we go to the Wisconsin Bureau of Aeronautics uh, petitioning for project funding, um, basically, you know, they will uh, put us in their, their programming cycle, and when they receive their block grant from the FAA, uh, basically Sheboygan County is usually, you know, right up on, on top, they're ready, ready to go with, with these projects. Um, the funding is awarded to us. The FAA funding uh, currently pays for 95% of these project costs. 2.5% comes from the Wisconsin Bureau of Aeronautics, and then two, the, the remaining 2.5% comes from the Sheboygan County taxpayers. It's a pretty good deal for the taxpayer. It, Thanks it, for, uh, wonderful. for working yeah. everything to their benefits. Right. Um, when we look at the, um, uh, the airport, what kind of economic benefits do you record or, or, uh, or, or attribute to the activity out here? Mm -hmm. um, again, in, in order to qualify for funding, especially uh, you know, at uh, uh, percentage uh, ratios, 
uh, the uh, FAA and Bureau of Aeronautics requires us to do economic impact studies. And we usually like to do those about every five years. Uh, the latest study was done in 2007. And just, you know, just a kind of a high-end overview uh, on the numbers of that. The uh, study um, determined that uh, the because of the airport, you know, serving the Sheboygan County area, uh, it generated roughly about uh, $28 million in sales to local air, the local Sheboygan County area and also you know, throughout the state of Wisconsin by having the airport here. Uh, it supported about 291 jobs, again, local and you know, throughout the state, and um, contributed about uh, $10.5 million in wage income. So. That's great, and um, I appreciate everything that you do, Chuck, and with that, we'll turn it back over to Adam to wrap up. Okay. Nice overview, and I hope that our viewers are able to kind of pick out, as you're pointing at the, the runways and, and the layout of the airport there. Again, um, if you haven't been out to the airport, I strongly encourage you to get out there and check it out. It's just incredible, the improvements that Chuck has led over the years, and Chuck, with with all the recent attention, well, it hasn't been so recent anymore mm -hmm. since 9-11, but there certainly has been more attention about security, whether it's at airports or, or other public facilities. Uh, what has been done at the airport over time to enhance our security measures and just make sure that we're taking appropriate steps? Right. Well, since 9-11, <clears throat> the Homeland Security is, has definitely been uh, uh, a funding source, you know, that I've, you know, been very, very close with. Uh, to help, uh, you know, bolster the security at, at Sheboygan County Airport. Because of the tenants, you know, that we do have in place and, and the, you know, they're, they're traveling around the world, uh, you know, with their, their jets and whatnot, um, we needed, you know, to protect our infrastructure here. Uh, uh, so we started out, uh, I think, uh, probably about 10 years now that we've had a perimeter fence in place at the airport. Uh, the fence was put up initially as a uh, uh, wildlife uh, deterrent, you know, to keep the deer out, because we've had a few incidences with uh, aircraft and, and deer on the runway. Uh, since 9-11, then we've uh, enhanced that perimeter fence with barbed wire topping. Basically, there are 17 uh, uh, outer gates that go with that 6.3 miles of uh, perimeter fence. And then in the terminal area, the south central quadrant of the airport, where you know, all the hangars and whatnot are, there are another 18 gates. And um, we transitioned those gates from just an automatic type that you just pull up to the gate, it op opens automatically. Uh, since 9-11, uh, that's been transitioned to uh, key fob access. So we know who's coming and going. Uh, our county electrician has, has done a, a marvelous job on uh, providing that, that infrastructure, um, and we also have video uh, surveillance at, at all of those uh, uh, gate locations. So it, it's a you know a pretty pretty tight uh, uh, operation at this point. Yeah, what I've been impressed with, I know I started here 12 years ago, and at that time you didn't certainly see the fence, and I don't think mm -hmm. we had the video surveillance then. Right. Uh, you've taken just tremendous steps to improve the security, yet when you go to the airport, you don't feel like you've really entered a high maximum security facility. It, it has a nice layout, it's inviting, mm -hmm. and uh, though certainly it's safer for those using it and gives everyone peace of mind, again, if you haven't been out there, you gotta check it out yeah. for yourself. Yeah. And um, again, that's always, you know, uh, I think one of the things that we, we try to remember is that People coming to Sheboygan County for the first time, getting off that airplane. Sheboygan County Airport is the first impression right. that they that they see of this area, and right. we want it to be the right impression. And Adam, as you're inviting people to come out there, we should uh, maybe just mention that there's going to be an event out there prior to the EA fly-in with the T-28 pilots coming back again. When is that scheduled, Chuck? Okay, that uh, the T-28s will be coming into the Sheboygan Airport. Uh, those those folks are from all over the, the United States. Um, uh, July, uh, July 21st through the 25th. Uh, this is the, the third year now that I, I've been working with that group. Um, I, I get the, uh, the stress point of, of that whole operation as far as being the air boss for them while they're here. They do their, uh, their uh, flight uh, 
uh, formation flying, they practice that. And then on Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon, uh, you know, I've, we've already acquired a, a airspace waiver from the FAA, and I will close the airspace over the airport so that the T-28s can uh, uh, practice their uh, aerobatic uh, routine uh, so that they're sharp and ready to go. Because uh, from Sheboygan, they go immediately to Oshkosh for the, uh, the National Air Convention and perform there. Yeah, it's a great preview and, a, and another excuse for somebody yeah. wants to check out the airport, they get that plus all the entertainment of watching these, oh, these really neat airplanes yeah. perform there. Yeah, you don't have maneuvers. to go to Oshkosh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You can just Excellent. Excellent point. So again, that was July. What were the July twenty first through the twenty sixth. Twenty first through the twenty sixth. So a good time to get out there. And as Chuck mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. with the museum there as well, you can get a wonderful view of the airport. Yeah. Of course, depending on their hours of operation, but more often than not, they're open. And certainly in, encourage people to come out and see the good work they've done. Uh, finally, kind of a transition, obviously, with all the the aircraft flying mm -hmm. in and flying out and. And uh, what was just discussed, we've got to have some air traffic control mechanisms in place, particularly when it's really busy. Mm -hmm. But how does that work out there? Okay. 99% of the time, Sheboygan County Airport is non-towered. And um, basically, uh, non-towered airports across the United States, uh, they have standard procedures as far as how, how pilots operate. When they, they come within our airspace, they... Uh, get on their Unicom radio, and they they uh, identify their what their intentions are. They let everybody know, as far as if they're intending to land, what runway they're going to land on. Uh, the FAA, you know, basically specifies, you know, what what the pattern altitude is and how they fly their their uh, their downwind uh, base and, and final. So that it, it's all standardized procedures uh, when they're you know, in the airspace over Sheboygan County. On days when the weather is really inclement, uh, then they fly under uh, uh, instrument flight rules. And it's kind of interesting, a lot of people didn't realize that you know, we could have airplanes that are holding at the end of the runway, waiting to take off, talking to Milwaukee or Chicago Center to get a clearance to depart from Sheboygan, and then you know those uh, centers will identify altitude, you know, the speed, heading, and, and everything. It's it's really really high tech stuff. Uh, when we really get busy, you know, during events like PGA or um, NASCAR, if that keeps growing the way it is. Uh, then we'll ask uh, the Bureau of Aeronautics uh, to bring in a temporary control tower. Very good. Well, we only have less than a minute remaining, and I wanted to spend a little bit more time on it, but I know you just completed a, another wonderful Father's Day with a Wings and Wheels event. Yeah. The, the weather didn't cooperate, but this was, what, the 21st Wings and Wheels at the airport? Right. So I imagine a lot of folks probably have come out for that. And if you haven't in the past, again, every year it's mm -hmm. on Father's Day. That's I don't right. know if it'll be there forever, but we've got 21 years running, and it's mm -hmm. a great time to showcase things out it there. It sure is, yeah. Well, Chuck, thank you so much for your excellent overview. 41 years of dedicated service to Sheboygan County. What did you say, 24 at the airport? Yes. And uh, the airport, I think, reflects well on you and you on it, and certainly on Sheboygan County. Mm -hmm. Beautiful facility, it's your facility. If you haven't seen it of late, get out there and enjoy it. Thank you for joining us. Next month, Sheriff Todd Preby, new sheriff in town, is gonna be joining us. So until then, thanks for joining us.